An interface is kind of like a club. Here's a picture of a club in New York City. Members of the club are allowed to attend their events and use their fitness center. They also have a membership card, which allows them to prove they are a member. Non-members, well, they can admire the view of the exterior. As you might guess, membership in this club isn't free. Members pay dues for their privileges. For Java interfaces, the dues are a list of methods a class is required to implement. Here we see an interface vehicle with three methods, start, stop, and move. I've explicitly labeled these methods as public. All interface methods are both public and abstract, whether or not you specify those keywords. To be a member of vehicle, a class must implement these three methods. Those are the dues it pays. The Java keyword for being a member of an interface is implements. Here we see a class car that implements the class vehicle. It must have the three methods start, move, and stop, and these methods must be public. Once it has paid its dues by implementing these three methods, it gets all of the privileges of being a vehicle. Anything that takes a vehicle will accept a car. For example, I can pass car1 to the method travel. I can also cast a variable of type car to a variable of type vehicle. And, if I ask if car1 is an instance of vehicle, the answer will be true. Cars are card-carrying members of the club vehicle, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. An interface might remind you of an abstract class. It is similar. Interfaces, like abstract classes, can have abstract methods that other classes are forced to implement. But, while a class can only have one parent class, it can implement as many interfaces as it wants. The other key difference is that an abstract class can define methods and attributes that are inherited by its children. Interfaces may only contain constants and abstract methods, no code or attributes. One of the most useful interfaces built into Java is Comparable. To be comparable, there must be an ordering between objects. That is, for any two objects, we can determine if the first is less than, equal to, or greater than the second. The CompareTo method returns zero if the objects are equal, a negative number if the first is smaller, and a positive number if the first is larger. The reason for specifying just positive or negative, instead of negative one and positive one, is that this allows us to simply do a subtraction rather than an if statement in many cases. The class ordered point gives an example of implementing comparable. Ordered point is a child class of point, so it couldn't also be a child class of a comparable class. But, since comparable is an interface, ordered point can be a child class of point and implement comparable. The less than ordered point greater than is present because comparable is a generic class and we have to specify that we will compare ordered points to other ordered points. For our ordering, we'll use the distance to the origin. Since we are only interested in comparing distances, we actually use the square of the distance so we don't have to bother with the square root. The return value will be zero if the two points are equidistant from the origin, a negative number if this is closer to the origin, and a positive number otherwise. Looking at points in order, we see that the big win for implementing comparable is that we can use the method arrays.sort. If we pass an array of comparable objects to arrays.sort, it will sort them in increasing order for us using a tuned quick sort algorithm that should be very fast for most purposes. There's also a static binary search method in the arrays class that can be used to find items quickly in a sorted array. Sorting and searching arrays are very common tasks, and Comparable allows us to avoid having to rewrite those algorithms over and over again. Running the program, it generates 10 random points in the first quadrant, with x and y coordinates from 0 to 19, sorts them in order of increasing distance from the origin, and prints them to system.out. You can download the source code for ordered point and points in order from java.martincarlisle.com.